Yo, what's up and welcome back. Today, we are looking at this, the Arkham Asylum Files Panic in Gotham City. This is a Kickstarter project. It is a massive, massive game. I think there's like six hours of gameplay in this box. This thing weighs like 10 pounds. There's a lot going on in here. And we're gonna play through an entire chapter today to give you guys a bit of a preview of what to expect when this game comes out. If you guys wanna check it out, link below to the Kickstarter. You guys might remember the Joker puzzle that I solved a while back. Uh, it did really well on YouTube. You guys loved it. Uh, you thought it was really cool. Well, this is the sequel. This is what that whole puzzle was about. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. But yeah, just want to give you a bit of a heads up. This is an augmented reality game. So basically uses the augmented reality that you have on your phone and enhances the gameplay on the board with it, which is a really cool concept. We've seen some of that in the giant like $30,000 puzzles that I've done in the past. And those are always really fun. And so they've kind of incorporated that into this and uh, we're going to see how that unfolds. So without any further ado, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, so with this game comes this mobile app, uh, which basically tracks all your progress, all your achievements and everything else. You're not destroying anything in the box. You're kind of inputting it all into the phone, which is really dope. And uh, before we get going, uh, let's go ahead and roll. Uh, it says launch here. You see that up there? Make sure you can see that. Here we go. Greetings, fellow denizen of Gotham City. You've probably heard of me, the Clown Prince of Crime, Batman's best pal. You guessed it, the Joker, here with a gift. What's what inside, you ask? Only the truth. In this town, the truth can get messy. There's no absolutes here, except absolute greed, absolute corruption, and absolute insanity. <laughs> Buckle up, kiddos! I have a test of skill and smart plan for you that just might drive you delightfully insane! Just like me. Let the games begin! Whoa! And play. Go ahead, it won't bite! Tap the green arrow after you find and open your present. I suppose the presence in here. Well, we've got some type of newspaper. Hope for a safer city. Arrest surge as the GCPD launches war on street crime. This is an actual newspaper. There's like actual articles. That's pretty crazy. Look at this. <laughs> Normally when you see things like this, it's just like Lauren Ipsum and all the, uh, <laughs> all that other jargon that they put down. But this is an actual newspaper from Gotham. Probably a lot of Easter eggs hidden in here if you guys are uh, big fans of that. But right now, we've got a mission. We've got to open up this present. This one here that's shown on the screen. It says, do not open on it. Ah! <laughs> ah, in classic Joker fashion. We've got, uh, look at that. It says, ha, ha, ha on it. What a jokester this guy is, huh? So we've got this. I don't know what that is. And then we've got this little, uh, oh, it looks to be a black light. Let's see here. Ah, there's something on this. 
Uh, I don't know if that's focusing there, but it says a, what does that say? Absolute mayhem. All right, so we're probably gonna need this. They're probably a good tool that we'll need. We'll put this aside. We'll have this here, put that aside. So now we begin envelope one. First, let's press play here because we did find the present. The graphics are so cool. The clown, this clown is such a card. What's hiding behind its back? Absolute mayhem, we found that out already. Oh, we gotta type it in, that's cool. Nothing screams absolute mayhem like a clown with a secret. Part one, let the games begin. Grab your copy of Gotham Times. Okay. Got it. What's black and white and corrupt all over? The newspaper? So now we're gonna use Joker Vision. Here we go. This is kinda cool. Whoa! All right, so. As you guys can see here, which is kind of cool because you're getting a vi you're getting a view of the newspaper, but you're also getting a view of the newspaper through Joker Vision. And as you can see on Joker Vision, there's some stuff that's a little a little wonky. What's this here? Uh, it looks to be a word, and it looks to it's so weird because I'm pointing it here. It's <laughs> not showing my finger. Uh, it looks to start right there where that line is. So. So I definitely, I definitely have to follow the letters. I'm just looking for where the beginning is. I think it might be where that line starts. Let me, let me get a pad and paper here. Oh wait, no, C O P S. There's no D there. C O P S. Ah, cops and journalists. Cops and journalists is the answer we were looking for. Cops and journalists. So. Gotham City, cops and journalists, the worst criminals of all. This is so dynamic. The uh, All the sounds and the visuals and everything else. Like Even look, the stain here. I mean, so cool. Let's hit the streets. Open building commission envelope BC1. All right. All right, envelope number one. Is it this one? No. It looks to be... This one here, I think it's this one. I'm no detective. But I think this is envelope number one. Oh, cool. Gotham City streets, baby. Here, this, and like this. Look at that. I've got plans for you. Open building commission envelope BC2. BC2, this is it. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. All right, a little, little bit of Ikea going on. We've got to build these buildings, building construction. So we got building A and then building B. Very cool. City won't build itself. Construct the Gotham Times building. That's the one that says keep up with the times. This one here. So we got to build this one right now. So I guess these just kind of pop out. Very cool. Oh, there's two sides. Hold on. There we go. That makes more sense. So we're going to pop these pieces out. This is kind of fun and interactive. Um, building these buildings. Some people enjoy this more than others. So if you're playing with a bunch of people, like you can have your designated builder 
set this up. I'm more of a solver, but we're gonna test my building skills right now. Here we go. This gets set up on the city map. Oh wait, did I move this one? This was this way. Good. And this one goes over here. We've done it. Ta-da. Okay. Scan the mural on the GCNN building. Look at that. The city's coming to life. Oh, this mural here. Oh, more buildings are growing. What is happening? This is crazy. Emergency broadcast. Scan the GCNN Jumbotron. That's over here. So I'm gonna scan that for you guys. You'll be able to see what's going on here. So here's the city. Dude, it's so crazy how you can like get in there. Look. Like these buildings don't exist. They're not there. And yet we can see them. This is wild. Live from GCNN Studios, Gotham City News Network. streets of Gotham City tonight after a gala at the Gotham City Zoo turned to chaos. Hundreds of Gotham's elite were there to raise money for the zoo's Global Wildlife Conservation Fund when a mysterious masked vandal released the animals from their habitats. Within minutes, the streets surrounding the zoo were overrun with a wild menagerie. Calling in from the scene is Officer Andy Kelly from the Gotham City Police. It is important for everyone to use extreme caution if you encounter any of these wild animals throughout the city. The GCPD How cool is this? Patrol with zoo officials tonight all around Gotham so that these animals can be safely returned to their habitats. We are urgently calling on all Gotham citizens to report any and all animal sightings they might have to Gotham PD as soon as possible. So we have to report animal sightings. That's cool. You can click replay on the screen here, which is wild. All right, we're gonna go next. Loading. This is fun. Open the running wild envelope. I think this is the envelope they want me to open. Oh, cool. It gave us a Joker pack of cards. As well as uh, whatever this is here. This game does take up a lot of room, which is really cool. So your entire dining room table is gonna be filled up with adventures, which is really sick. Open the running wild envelope, done. Open the Joker's dozen pack. Love opening packs of cards. Something about it, very nostalgic. Oh cool, it's a bunch of different jokers. Look at the artwork on that. The back design's kind of cool too, check that out. All right. Send in the clowns, shuffle the deck and place it here on the placemat. On the play mat, okay. Done. See how simple this is? Raise the flag. Flip over the top card from the draw pile and place it here. All right. And then I guess Joker vision now. Ah, oh, so cool. Look at that. From every angle. 
Man, that is so wild. I have to find the hippos? Search Gotham City for the missing hippos. Oh, it's telling me where to go. We got him! Nice job. Oh! The hip- <laughs> There's a hippo on my playing mat. That is so wild. I look so insane right now. There's a hippo on my playing mat, okay? We found the hippos. Put the face up card in the found pile. Boom, found. So now I guess we go next. Flip over the next one and place it there. And then scan it. What are we gonna get? <laughs> penguins. Now we gotta look for penguins. Oh, so we gotta guess where they are? Penguins should be by the water. Ah, no, they're elephants. So I guess since we didn't get it, put the incorrect at the bottom of the draw pile. So we put this at the bottom of the draw pile. But we gotta remember elephants are over there. And now we do this again. Ah, I see. It's like a memory game. Pandas. Where would the pandas be? I'm trying to touch the game. We got him! The pandas were in the park. Check those out. Oh, he's going down. <laughs> he went down the slide. Hey, wait. Ah, get, our panda's here. Get back on the map. There you go. Our panda's here. <laughs> we got a panda. Oh my god, I can touch him. A panda and a hippo. And now we place this one over here onto the next. Oh, wait, yeah. There's a rhino. That's a no. I have to remember where all these go. Kangaroos. Kangaroos. I'm going to go here. Those are bears. So bears are over there. Cheetahs. Those are lions. So lions and bears. Okay. Elephants. We had elephants over here. Yes, nice job. Lions. Oh my god, they're on the cop cars. Flamingos. All right, flamingos got to be where there's water, right? Okay, there's there. Huh. Maybe here? That's the rhino. All right, kangaroo's done. <laughs> this hippo's having a great time bathing. Wait, where is it? Crazy that you can do all of these angles. Ah, it's over here. Deploy the zoo van. Oh. No way. He's picking up all the animals. This is so crazy how it follows everything. Thoroughly impressed by this. This is wild. No pun intended. Last one. And he's gone. Nice roundup. Uh oh. Scan the Jumbotron. We got more news here. The animals released from the zoo earlier have been safely returned. The incredible citizens of Gotham have gone above and beyond in supporting GCPD and zoo staff by safely locating the furred and feathered escapees. In the wake of the chaos, it seems the masked vandal responsible has also left spray-painted graffiti that detectives believe mm. may reveal a possible motive. Five of the city's landmark buildings were targeted, including the historic WXYC radio station. All right. Open building commission envelope BC3 and construct the radio station. Here we go. 
Oh, cool. So all like the uh, all the buildings are all in these blue things. They're like blueprints, I guess. Here we go. We gotta build another building. Aha! And now this gets placed right over here, but it goes this way. Right here, we have another building, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go! All right, so here we go. It says, uh, tag your it, scan Gotham City to gather photo evidence of the graffiti. Ah, it's so wild, man. Look at this helicopter You're roaming around. WXYZ Radio News. For those just joining us, Gotham City police and citizens have finished rounding up the rampaging zoo animals in the city streets. All right, here's one. Charity of many is matched by greed of one. Here's WXYZ's own eye in the sky reporting in. How's it looking up there? Well, the streets are starting to recover from the zoo incident, but the authorities are still out in force. And they're trying to track down these new graffiti tags? She puts the con in conservation. What's cool about this is that you really got to move around. I'm yelling because we got the sounds of the uh, the news copter going. But you got to move it really around the city to uh, to see everything fully. Ah. Zoo leadership is corrupt. Looks like we got three left. Help the planet and her wallet. We've got two left. One over here. What happens with your donations, question mark? All right, we've got one left. Oh, look at this one. This one lines up weird. An anarchy sign. Oh, cool. A massive fiery anarchy symbol led police to the motive behind last night's vigilante chaos. Alexi Blanchard, fundraising director of Gotham City Zoo, has embezzled millions of dollars from their global wildlife conservation fund. Blanchard is in police custody pending further investigation. There's a vigilante on the loose in Gotham City, and it ain't that Harley. What a day for me to end up back at this place. Not as a patient, silly. <laughs> I'm a doctor again. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was a total zoo this morning. <laughs> I don't know how you weaseled your way back into working here, Quinzel. I'll be watching you. I can't believe I got a second chance here either. But who better to unravel the complex psyche of Gotham's most insane villains than me? I know, I've seen that burning letter A symbol before. Aha! Time to get to work! Anarchy. That's the name of the villain. Harley's back at her old job at Arkham Asylum. And there's a masked vandal exposing corruption on the streets. The vigilante unleashed some captivating chaos at the zoo, and then spelled things out by vandalizing Gotham City. Looks like the anarchy is just getting started. So that is the end of part one. Many more parts, many more parts to this saga um, included in this box, but that ends part one. All right, so we've played for about an hour right now. Let me turn the volume down on this. We've played for like an hour right now, and we've only like look at look what's look what's still left in this box. There's still all that left for roughly like five or six times more than what we've already done, uh, and plenty of room here for other buildings, whether they're virtual or physical. Uh, kind of insane, and obviously with the help of your friends and everything else, like this this is really fun and interactive. It's, it's not just for one person, although you can, optionally, it is there, but definitely more fun for other people to gather around and help you out. Um, as a sneak peek, let's just go ahead and press play and see what happens.
in the next chapter. I don't even know if I'm supposed to do this, but we'll do this. Here we go. Decoding Anarchy, part two. Open Arkham Asylum Envelope ASY1. We're at Harley Quinn. So that's the next one here. Whoa. All right, we've got Raw Shock tests here. We've got we've got this some type of like graph. We've got fingerprints here. We've got a police report. We've got another game to play. We've got this board here that comes along with it as well. So there's another puzzle to be solved here immediately, which is pretty insane. Like this is a whole other chapter, a whole new adventure. You could stop here, take a break with your family, come back to it, whatever you want, or keep going. Personally, I would keep going. I like to binge my video games. And this is like, dude, this is crazy. All right, we're gonna stop there. Um, I could keep going, but we're gonna stop there because I don't want to give everything away. You guys can go play this game for yourself. As I mentioned, the links in the description and uh, so much, so many more cool things in here uh, to be discovered. Like, uh, I can't really get into it really, but uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Um, if you've ever played with augmented reality, in any way like if you haven't by the way this will blow your mind this is absolutely mind-blowing the way they've integrated it in with the physical world is really crazy because normally when you see augmented reality you see like uh i mean there's pokemon go and there's like these little apps that uh that your phones come out with where you have like a dinosaur on your table or that type of thing but uh they're, they're kind of wonky and they jump around and, and they don't really get you anywhere they're, they're fun for like a half hour maybe 20 minutes uh, this, however, isn't a gimmick. It's not about the augmented reality, but it's about the integration and the sort sort of new storytelling mechanism that it gives you when playing with the physical sort of city. As you saw, we have these physical aspects, but in this physical aspects, you have these points, and those points allow for this virtual world to sort of form. And if you don't want it on your phone, uh, another cool thing is you can cast this to your TV or any other tablet or device or whatever you like. So everybody can have a look at it with the TV or uh, just a lot of fun, super exciting. And I really believe in this project. So I would highly suggest you guys go check it out. Don't miss this. If you guys are fussing about because th this is a, a high end item, it's a high ticket item. It's a little expensive. I get it. But at the same time, you have to understand that. You're getting an app. You're getting six hours worth of gameplay. Like, I mean, just like four or five of you playing, that's a good bang for your buck. Like you can go to any escape room and it'll cost you more than that if you're gonna be five or six people and you'll only have it for an hour. So if you're into puzzles and you're into video games, you're into augmented reality tech, you know, deciphering clues and playing detective or whatever that may be, highly suggest checking this out. I think it's awesome and I can't wait for this to be fully released uh, so that all of you can enjoy, uh, all of you can enjoy it as much as I have. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, check out the project and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.